godfather, your own father, grandparent, cousin, and like own wife. Yeah, when your family tree is a circle. It's, yeah, uh... when your family tree is a fucking wreath. You have a family <laughs> circle, yeah. <laughs> um, when you have mush- pond. when you have mushrooms growing out of your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle Daddy. <laughs> Uncle Daddy. That's the most disgusting title I've ever heard. <laughs> Uncle Daddy. Have you watched this year yet? When was the last time he lying up far, isn't it? His mother's brother his mother's brother's sister. He lives at home with his mother and his sister. <laughs> yeah. Not as big as he is. Who? The mum and the sister. Same person. Hey Thank you. Thank you for all of us <laughs> taking part in that. That was, uh, was, was very enjoyable for me. I think Donnie should look more like this guy. <laughs> no, what's the... Oh, no, it's the line where they're chasing the guy and who stole the biscuits. And he says, no, yeah, it's my mother's brother's sister's boy. And it's like, that, that's your cousin. <laughs> well, I couldn't see his face. <laughs> why, is he, why is he raising his hat like that? Why is he hiding his face? Because he's fuck ugly. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yep. Or he doesn't want people to see his face. Because <laughs> he's fuck ugly. Right, it's it's fucking flawless problem. logic, I'll be honest with you. How old is Donnie? I don't know. D- 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 Tom didn't define his age. You don't, you don't go around telling people's ages. He doesn't know how old he is. He, he doesn't know how old he is. No, but... but <laughs> You should record it for your own character's age. So yeah, because they... if you're 12, we're going to treat you differently. I mean, I assume that he can't count up to his age, he, whatever age it is. He looks about 60. Wait, what, what, what is his... Donnie's actual, actual intelligence score? Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. point. It's not actually that bad. What is it? Because uh... 10 is an average person. Uh, 8. Okay, so he's not like fucking brain dead. He's just a bit thick. Yeah. Like I was, I was, I was. Go to college, secondary school level. I think I, I don't know what an eight is. <laughs> he's, got, he's got eight charisma, so he's fuck ugly, and he's got fifteen wisdom, so he's ha, he's, he's fuck ugly. I got a seventeen in charisma. I'm fucking gorgeous. <laughs> fifteen uh, wisdom. Fifteen yeah. in wisdom, and he talks like that. Hmm. No, no, no! You can you can be a fucking idiot and be wise. That just that just means you're like I like my feet the same way on that, the end of my legs. Which ends the yeah, shooty knows... end, and which ends the pointy end? From the yeah, crystal. but he he in knows like way, what plants are poisonous. That kind in, of shit. Because he's like, nah, that, I don't eat those ones. It's exactly the same as Tom having a doctorate, but also being a moron. Mm. That's true. He's a very yeah. high intelligence score, but a very shit wisdom score. Is is the opposite of Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's the uh, uh, there's the keen mind trait that you can take. That means you have a perfect memory, and Tom has just taken the opposite of that. <laughs> the blunt mind. Like he's mega Tom. The blunt mind. <laughs> blunt mind. Honestly, I want I want uh, the smooth a mind. Like that, yes. Well, I ironed out my brain to keep it nice and smooth, but that did not work as intended. Why are you Why have you got a damage? Tom? Wait, what am I damaged? Yeah, you just dropped a token and you've got you had sixteen out of twenty-four health. I just tried to drop my token and it didn't. I, I don't know um, why that happened. <laughs> did you forget to heal yourself up after leveling up? My token appearing when I drag it. It's there, I can see it. I can't. You've now got three. I can't see it. Oh shit! God damn, Andy. I'm gonna log out and log back in. Oops. Hold on. Cyrus walks up to the bartender and just asks for what fruit juices they have. Cyrus gets punched in the face. <laughs> the twelve Andes emerge. Why, why salute you? <laughs> Fuck you, Cyrus. Yeah, you should be able to see it, Andy. Okay. I should be able to, but I can't. I'm just What's be- that D&D tokenifier? What? Uh, do you want the link? Token stamp. Yeah, it's this just token, token stamp. stamp. Literally, oh, yeah, okay. if you search token stamp, you'll find it. 
It's technically token stamp too, but who gives a fuck? I care. Yeah. Is it like fly like a bird? Sure, why not? It's not quite as impressive. Fly like a bird. Are you actually changing your token now? Yes. That is highly impractical. Is it? Yeah, because it takes me like 10 minutes to set up the token on Roll20, which is why I did it yesterday. I, I, I know that's a lie. He was saying them up yesterday. He came into the chat and was talking about it. It didn't take 10 minutes. It, ta it takes a minute. To, okay, it takes five minutes. It's inconvenient to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pedantic dick. Ah! Ah, Dom was here, no. Can he? Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know why you can't see your token. I can now. I've logged out and logged back in. Right. Success. There you go. Uh, <laughs> how do I, how do I? Why am I doing this right before a session? That's really risky. Richard, I know that's you with the fire because you're the only one with better roll twenty. No, no, I missed it. <laughs> As it turns out. What's well, good is it started off really like responsive, but now it's super laggy. So uh, there's more coming at some point. Okay, uh, do I need to post the token to you, Sam? Please. Just Is this post. because teaching him how to do it himself would take too long? Uh, no, I don't think you can. Wait, what? I don't think you can edit your own token on what time. Oh, right, yeah, you've made the tokens. Okay, yeah, I guess, yeah. All right. Uh, no, you can. You just have to do it in the game. You, can, you have to do it in the main, like... So you leave that the game. Is effort. Just send it to Sam. Why is this trending? Yes, oh. oh, thank God. Anybody want to bet what Tom's character is going to sound like when he does a voice for him? I think Ed did a pretty good impression of it earlier. <laughs> I think he's going to sound like Bart Simpson when Bart went, I washed myself with a rag on a stick. I washed myself with, I a, rag wash myself with a rag on a stick. And ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, change image. Have you had the latest in uh, Paris Saint Germain news? No. What? Saint Germain? Paris Saint Germain PSG football team. Uh, oh, carry on. Your mom. woman's football team. One of the players has been arrested. Ooh. Everyone's oh, suddenly right. like, oh, this isn't football related. I'm interested yeah, now. No, I'm fucking in. Let's go, Dan. Because she hired two men to wear masks pull another midfielder on the team out of her car and beat her arms and legs with metal pulse. That's not oh, very awesome. nice. We've got it? another, what was the name of the fucking uh, ice, ice dancer? Um, yeah. I can't remember her name. Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding, yeah. we got another one. Fucking yeah. yes! <laughs> well, that means we'll yeah. get a biopic in a decade. <laughs> oh, that'll be great fun as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mental. Mental. She got caught like straight away. Because um, the person you did it just, like, dobbed her in. <laughs> Fucking hell. Why are criminals so bad at crime? I know. <clears throat> Is that what Donnie... Oh, God. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I got a phone call. I'll be right back. It's just Eleanor, so it'll be a second. Mm -hmm. Who's not on the screen? Oh, Meryl. See? Yeah, that's all six of you. Oh, Cerus is tilted. He uh, 
had slightly stronger squash than he was supposed to. Squash. Yeah, I like the idea that he goes up because he's, you know, raised a cleric. He goes up to um, the uh, bar and asks for uh, fruit juice. Oh, do you assume that fruit juice is freely available? Hmm? Why? Pardon? I said, it was bold, it's bold of you to assume that fruit juice is freely available. You could buy it. Worth to ask. Is that from a film or something done that picture? It's from Deliverance. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so glad. So for... Oh, Dom's not going to get it, is he? Fuck. I want to hold off explaining anything until he arrives. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I just need to uh, quickly order pizza on the other screen, but yeah. Okay. Indeed. So, you are all in a tavern. Classic. I just said that I was going to start you. No, there's going to be some different bits. <laughs> uh, uh, so, you're all in... Uh, okay, so before I get going, have you, have you all got... Uh, Roll20 and Legend Keeper open. Oh, no, oh, hang on. No. Let's open Legend, Legend Keeper. Keeper. Where's Legend Keeper? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I got time to order pizza. Isn't it pinned? <laughs> it's pinned, yeah. Legend Keeper pinned, is pinned, yeah. Tom. It's, it's pinned. the law of this entire world and universe. It is all pinned. To be you will be quizzed. Yeah. What? what? What do you mean by pinned? Oh, my God. <laughs> top, right of, top right of Discord, there's a little... Pin, like an image of a pin. I can draw it like a. Oh, I see. The best thing about my view right now is this. It's the last three pictures on Discord is taking up my screen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This legend keep or whatever. What about it? What 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 am I doing with it? You should be seeing a world map. I don't You might need to pick the picture of the world. No, just click on the top right, it says view map or something. Uh, I need to log in. <laughs> Let me jump. <laughs> She's looking at the login page going what do I need to do? <laughs> I some <laughs> kind of force field around this. <laughs> You're doing a, a PhD. PhD. It's Google. Have you not got a Google account, Tom? It won't let me continue with Google. Oh, hang on. Oh, Tom. <laughs> oh, I hang User on. not I found. It. Man, this is the kind of thing that probably would have been really easy to set up if you'd been here at any point in the last forever. <laughs> Two weeks. It won't let me join the account. <laughs> not really critical, Sam. Can we not just fucking start? Yeah, because there's loads of shit on there. Like, I've got... Yeah. He's put loads can you, of can you see me in? Oh, of time into that. <laughs> you need to invite me. Is it critical? I've already sent you literally listed on the list of users. I'm not. What email is his? What email? I tried to I tried to add you before. And it was like, no, he's already a user. What? <laughs> oh, fuck. <sighs> 
Cousin, cousins. Dot Thomas member. <laughs> we couldn't find a user with their email account. <laughs> your, I can, your username is cousins. Dot Thomas. What is showing me? Wait a minute. <laughs> Why are you saying wait a minute? Managed it yet, Tom? Uh, I think so. Is this, is it, um, Thadis? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you click on that, you should then be able to see a big rod, man. <laughs> if you can't, on the left hand side, there's the little icons, and if you go oh, to the world, yep. there says Atlas. Yeah, I got it. Hey. All right, Andy, enough of the music. All right. So, can anybody see, can everybody see Roll20 and Legend Keeper? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Perfect. Is, is Andy still playing music? No. I know, I think that's Roll20. I can still definitely hear the music through Andy. Well, I'm not playing nothing, so... I can hear, hear the music of Roll20 coming through. Yeah, I can hear it coming through Andy's fucking mic. Yeah. All right, it's all right, I'll tweak it. So, you are all, for your own reasons, in Kirkwall. And to set the scene, I will read you the brief description of Kirkwall that I wrote with my own precious time. Kirkwall is an ancient settlement located on the Waking Sea. Flanked to the rear by the virtually impassable Vimark Mountains, the whole settlement is encircled by a gigantic wall, a single gate leading out to the docks. No one knows who constructed the wall, and it's a true and it's true aid is anyone's guess. But for thousands of years, there there has been a safe haven for free thinkers, exiles, and those who would rather not be found. Kirkwall also plays host to one of the very few religious centres of the Path of Light, the Rumour Chapel, supposedly the resting place of the hand of the Order's founder. An independent settlement, Kirkwall has no single ruler, but all the significant factions within the city have a seat on the Wall Council. The Wall Council has a light touch, maintaining basic law and order, collecting tolls for passing the Great Gate, and primarily maintaining and defending the Wall. No land-based attack has ever succeeded in assaulting the Wall through strength of arms, and in the latter day, no power strong enough to field an air fleet has been inclined to do so. Yeah. I refer you back to Roll20, where you will all find yourselves in a tavern. Oh. Where are we? You are in a tavern in Kirkwall. Where's Kirkwall? I will shoot you. Um, Presently, <laughs> none of you are familiar with one another to speak of. Mm -hmm. Maybe you may know of the existence of one of the other people in the party, but you, as far as you're concerned, you don't have any great familiarity with it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, Meryl, uh, the small little... Uh... Uh, Harangon rabbit folk wizard. Um, he is, has been sat there since the early afternoon where when no one's been there and has been getting progressively more uncomfortable as more people have filed in and is now just in the corner, like wide eyed, looking at all these, like to him, very rough looking individuals and is trying to muster up the courage to speak to someone. <laughs> Alright. Well, so, Cyrus has been sitting there drinking water. Go ahead, Sam. No, carry on. I, I will run with this. Oh, that's the same. All, all describe you, what, what you've been up to all in right. the uh, few hours. Krend is one of said rough looking individuals. He's currently uh, sat at the bar wearing a pair of incredibly tiny reading glasses and attempting to read uh, what looks like a very, very heavy library tome but he has to hold it quite far away because he's obviously quite you know he's got quite bad eyes for reading That's i already long don't trust him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's holding this book and desperately trying to read it but he's a massive tiefling with one horn nice um, Lumiere? uh Lumiere has just entered and he's walked up to the bar and He's covered in blood, fresh blood, and he, he wants a beer. 
Uh, that's all that needs to be said about that. <laughs> and we also have uh, Cyrus. Cyrus is sitting in the uh, pub. He's not been there for very long. He's just drunk, drunk a uh, glass of water. Um, doesn't look like the cleanest water he's ever drunk. Um, but he's looking around the pub, like, quite out of place. Like, sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, doesn't really know what he's doing. He has noticed what he thinks is just a talking rabbit in the corner. Um, which he thinks looks like the only person here who is uh, not terrifying. Yeah. And uh, uh, Donnie? Donnie is sitting at the bar. Um, he's been sitting at the bar for a couple of hours, and he's literally everyone in the tavern he's told his life story to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amazing. Does he uh, yeah. have some like sweet rolls he's just been handing to everyone <laughs> yeah. as, as he's been doing? <laughs> I refer you all to Donnie's life story. <laughs> Which we have all now heard several times. We haven't heard from Donnie. Salumia, can Salumia be stood at the bar while uh, overhearing Donnie's life yeah. story? Donnie, if you're willing, I would greatly appreciate a performance of your life story. Okay. My name is Donnie Hogs. <laughs> oh, I, I hunt all sorts of critters. My pappy and my mom brought me up Real good hunting and fishing up the mountain. Ma used to cook real good possum stew, but one night she went out for a walk and got mauled by a giant black bear. Now just me and Pappy living there. Pappy told me I'm real good at hunting. I should hunt down that bear. Large Marge, we used to call it. But I look and I look. And I never did find that goddamn bear. So now Pappy likes alone time now. Don't like no visitors, no fun, no nothing. My friend Chester told me I should be a hunter for hire, like he used to do. I wasn't so sure first could Chester got no legs. But he says how much gold I could get. So I came here to cut wall to find some work. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> He's been already said that about 50 times. Honestly, oh, A for a, a for the fucking performance there, Tom. Oh, that was yeah, so, so the, the performance has redeemed the previous lack of uh, <laughs> in, 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 engagement. I was, I was transported. The commitment there, that was beautiful. Yeah, I wasn't the secret listening is you take a breath so much as every it. single word. And, uh, just, just to be really uh, kind to the final member of the group who's uh, probably feeling to severely outdone uh, Natal how, how do you follow that I just want to find <laughs> him some rabbits to tend that's all I really want to do say again uh, I want to find him some rabbits to tend that's all I really want to do for Donnie no because you want to shoot him in the back of the head yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> Uh, Naxor's just been whining and dining some traders trying to convince them to trade with his old hometown of Laish mm. Um, can can I see what book that Kren's reading? Not from across the room. Uh, Kren isn't trying to keep it secret that he's reading this book, though. You would have to. Uh, you'd have to approach him. And Meryl is. Uh, he's not going to speak to him yet, but he's going to try and get close enough right. that he can see what it says. Can I it, see that this rabbit right, is hold on, hold on, hold on. trying to sneak up? We get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Things are happening around you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So, the the rooms the rooms buzzing. It's a busy tavern. There's lots of drinking going on. There's a it's, you know, there's there's a mixture of sort of for want of a better phrase middle class you know like merchants and people and some ruffians. You know, it's it's a it's a hearty tavern. And Donny. <laughs> and Donny. Fucking Donny. And uh, after uh, after you've all been there a little while. A uh, an individual walks in who doesn't really fit in. So uh, you see this flamboyant um, individual. Oh, really fucking hate him. <laughs> comes, in, comes in comes into the bar, and uh, he he. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna voice this because I cannot sing for love nor money. But without without any ado, he just strides up to like an open space near the fire and breaks into song. 
and uh, it's evident to you all he is a, a bard of you no know, small skill. He's he's not bad at what he does. He sings he sings a, a pleasant ballad about you know, there's a hero and a maiden and a fight, and you all enjoy it thoroughly. He gets a good clap, and he performs a few songs. And uh, you know, some of you are uninterested and not impressed by said individual, others others think he's great. And uh, after he'd been there a little while, a another man. Um, a cloak you don't recognize comes in and talks to him briefly and then you see this uh, very cheerful fellow's face sort of changes a bit and he looks an awful lot more serious and he announces in a bold voice that uh, the um, the town of Kirkwall has need of heroes and asks people to come and find him in the corner behind his table to discuss uh, a work opportunity for those of uh, bold nature (laughs) <laughs> Cyrus uh, immediately gets up and goes over to the man and uh, yeah. looks at him and goes uh, I heard you're looking for uh, heroes well that sounds like the kind of thing that will be for my destiny see uh, I've got to go and discover a uh, lost artifact of my, my religion and uh, well this looks like uh, God's way of telling me that this is where I need to go and then uh, he proceeds to throw his hand out and says, My name's Cyrus. Cyrus Fidelium. Lovely to meet you. I, I'm i trying really hard. <laughs> uh, do I do I hear Cyrus talking about his destiny? Yes. Okay, in, in no, that case. You're, you're, on the, you're on the end of the bar in the other corner. You hear, yeah. you hear the whole conversation. Hey, you don't have to the accent, Sam. immediately slam his book shut, pop it away in a pocket, and go and stand behind uh, Cyrus and join the line. All right, the uh, the the fellow behind the um, behind the table looks awfully surprised, and before he can get a word out, he's uh, Krend Kren introduces himself. My name is Krend. I will join your quest. And you, little one, what is your destiny? What is this artifact? Um, well, I don't really know what my destiny is yet, but uh, I know that it's just started, and um, the artifact. Well, it's the. How much do you know about the path of light? Nothing. Ah, well, we're going to get on fine because I've got a lot to tell you about it. But uh, the uh, founder friend looks <laughs> very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, while you while you two are uh, making friends, um, the fellow in front of you introduces himself, and he says, "Friends, I'm so glad you're joining me in our venture. I am. I am trying to. There we go." <laughs> <laughs> I am. What's his name? I am Cucinello, and I am so pleased you could uh, you could join me. Uh, we will. I will. I will. I'm hoping for a larger party. So while I wait, some others, please, whilst you wait, have a drink on me. Uh, Thank you very much. Meryl, I'll have a water. Uh, Meryl uh, finally finishes off the. Uh, third of a pint that of watered ale that he's been uh, nursing all afternoon, <laughs> and you are um, the worst patron. <laughs> <laughs> um, he slides like a whole gold across the counter because he thinks that's how much it probably costs, and <laughs> um, he sort of like trundles over at like probably like waist height of most other people, uh, except for the ears, and then he. Um, he um, stands in front of the table. Goes, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I believe uh, I, I heard that you were inquiring about uh, adventures, and uh, uh, I, I believe I could be uh, uh, of, 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 of some uh, service to you. Uh, I, I am in the uh, adventuring game, they say, and uh, I am I am looking for employ. And can Donny cut in at this point and say, "Is this?" And more annoying you, sir. <laughs> Would you like me to deal with him? Good day to you, fellows. No, my good friend, that's not the way to do it. He, he seems an awfully nice fellow of a hoppity nature, but I don't think he needs dealing with. He's part of our party. Well, so he's going to pipe up and just say, He's an annoying piece of shit, that's what he is. <laughs> say that again? He's an annoying piece of shit. <laughs> everybody, everybody at the table kind of looks at one another in a slightly confused fashion and then just kind of shrugs and carries on. <laughs> 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 
what hand motion does he make as he says this, Andy? Honestly, I had to, I had to, I had to ask you twice because I didn't understand what you were saying. Oh, really? What? So he says, uh, "What? What's your name, good fellow?" Uh, well, I, I, I am Meryl. Uh, I'm a, a graduated wizard of the uh, Circle uh, Circle Tower of the Magi Republic, um, and he sort of puffs himself up a little bit. Ah, fine credentials indeed. And uh, uh, have you always been this furry? As far as I can remember, uh, um, as furry as my father, mother, and uh, my ten siblings. <laughs> ah, it's genetic. That's okay. Then. <laughs> uh, Krend well, is going to try and break away from Cyrus just to briefly say, "You are graduated, yes." Uh, yes, yes. No, I, I, I served my tutelage, and uh, I have uh, uh, graduated uh, uh, with merit. God, he's merit. <laughs> Cyrus is going to look at him and goes, "Oh, who's merit? Is that a friend of yours?" <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> merit kills uh, so many of this party. Is Krend, is Krend regretting his decision yet? Look, Krend is seeking academics, so Krend will, uh, Krend will of course, you know, guess. introduce himself to Meryl and shake his tiny, tiny paw. <laughs> yep. All right, Meryl, Meryl takes a seat amongst the, amongst the, uh, the slowly growing party. Yeah, we're, we're taking a table and, and having a drink together. Donny, uh, water. Donny, uh, Puccinello uh, gestures to you and says, Good fellow! Come hither, you look like a man of action. Can I interest you in uh, joining our venture? If there's anything you need killing, I'm your man. I, I have reason to believe that may be a cause of ours, so uh, are you game? I guess I am. Marvellous! What name do you go by, mister? Sorry? <laughs> what? what name do you go by, mister? This is your chance to read in your entire life story again. <laughs> yeah. My name is Donny Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> and I hunt all sorts of critters. <laughs> all right, he lets you get a few sentences in, and then he kind of finally cracks from his cheerful demeanor and just says, "Yes, yes, yes, I understand." But sit down. <laughs> Appropriate response. That is. I'm not. I, it, it's very good, but I don't want to listen to it twice. <laughs> That's fair. Which is exactly right. how it would have been in the pub, anyway. <laughs> So, there's a party of four sat in the corner. Puccinello is uh, is is writing some notes on a on a pad, a, a pack of a sheaf of papers. What? What do you want to call it? He's got a quill. He's looking. He's looking surprisingly academic. Briefly, he looks you know, clearly. This is a man of learning as well as uh, musical talent. And uh, do we have any other takers? Uh, having just watched two traders leave the bar. <laughs> having thoroughly fleeced Naxor for all of his food and drinks. Uh, Naxor will walk over to the table and just uh, will there is there a lot of travelling with with your little adventure sir? Indubitably! Uh, uh, <laughs> could I come? <laughs> You're more than welcome good sir. What is your trade? Well, uh, currently, I'm a, I'm I'm between between jobs. I'm just trying to uh, <laughs> sort of promote promote trading in the in in Leish. A sound cause. Uh, I, I, I think so. Yeah, he introduces you to the rest of the party and uh, offers you a drink. I drink. So Lumiere is going to look up, look across. To the forming party, and then look back at the bar and carry on with his drink. <laughs> this is how Andy tells us he's bored of D and D. He begins a campaign, Hello. and his character never Hello. leaves the pub. <laughs> he's, he's he's looked across, sort of with interest. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> but... Is the rest of this campaign just going to be cutaways to uh, Andy's character <laughs> just sitting in the, the pub? Familiar in the pub. <laughs> but he's gone back to his drink. And has not approached Puccinello. Right. Puccinello is an observant fellow, so he's clocked. Yeah, he knows what's going on in the room. He's a bard. He knows how to read a crowd. 
I mean, keep an eye on various individuals. And the, the, believe it or not, the tall man covered in blood at the bar was like a standout figure in the room. <laughs> so the, the, the pointed look and the clear like recognition of something occurring is that uh, he's, he's clocked. So he, 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 he turns to his fact that there's new, new cohorts and sort of says I'll be back shortly. And he goes to, go to the bar and sort of puts down his elbow, elbows on the bar next to Salimier and uh, turns to him and says, you look like a man of action. I've had my fair share. Brief interlude. I can't wait for Andy to like develop throat cancer from his voice. <laughs> I, said I, I, I said to Andy before when he did it earlier, I was like, he's going to have to smoke like a chunky cigar in one go before every session. <laughs> before every fucking up. line. He's going to suffer. But I'm okay with it. Uh, can I interest you in joining our uh, jolly venture? What's in it for me? A fine pay, my good man. The, mm. satisfac- the satisfaction of making the world a just a slightly better place. A better place? Well, sign me up. I could be. Oh, a- you already signed up, you moron. <laughs> he is a moron. <laughs> just chiming in from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, he d- he said. I could be interested, yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, is that a yes? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. All right, so let's... I'm going to take the hint that he's not a... He's going to take the hint that Slimier is evidently not a talker. And he's going to he's gonna call over the barkeep and buy Slimier another whatever he's drinking and then put his arm around him and just guide him back to the table with a new drink in hand. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, my good man? When are you getting me in my punchinello anyway? It's Puccinello. You're Italian, you should understand this. <laughs> if anybody in the party should pronounce that right, <laughs> you. <laughs> well, why are you getting me in like that? What? <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? I mean, <laughs> At some point, it's gonna be a case of actually practicalities. Let's say that Andy can't do the voice anymore. Not because he can't do it, but because he just can't understand it. I don't think that will stop him. No, probably not. <laughs> so, Puccinello. Punchinello. Stop it. Punchinello. Yes, thank you. He, he, he could literally be saying anything. <laughs> he you all, he's got you all sat down. He's bought you all a drink. You've all introduced yourselves to one another. You're all now, you know, individually named and such. And he says, Sir, gentlemen, I have been contacted by a member of the War Council who I've had some dealings with in the past. Uh, he's, a, he's a wealthy fellow. He's, um, he's a member for trade. And uh, unfortunately, there are issues with trade presently. Um, there's been some troubling occurrences in the uh, in the Planetine Forest, and uh, some <clears throat> additional troubles in the Vimark. And he's asked me to uh, gather a band of uh, many men, that'd be you, to investigate and uh, rectify the situation. <coughs> Training parties and caravans have been uh, missing, hmm. and uh, whilst sea trade is clearly the uh, the main source of uh, trade for Kirkwall. He has a keen interest in maintaining a land link with Cumberland. Um, he, be- he believes the uh, outlet of trade from the Imperium is a key part of the purpose of Kirkwall serves due to the hostilities between uh, Olay and the Imperium not, not allowing trade there. What's been happening to the trade cards? They just don't turn up. They, they, no survivors, nothing? We've not seen much... Uh, there's been, you know, the occasional uh, abandoned cart or like dead dead horse, but otherwise nothing. What's the pay for the job? Uh, it's a day rate. Um, we're looking at thirty pieces of gold a day, mm-hmm. and an additional each? ten uh, each, Good. Mm-hmm. and an additional ten for every uh, for every foe recovered. Um, do we know Con- contract talk for Scout? Yeah, yeah. No. Which I'm sure Crane will be well, well familiar with. Oh, it's very familiar. 
Because this, this is a sophisticated land, so they don't talk about killing people. You just talk about recoveries. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, yeah, if, 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 a, if a, a foe has been recovered, you've clear, you've recovered their bounty by killing them. Um, All right, I'm in. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Assuming Krend is a man of uh, culture and uh, learning, uh, he's uh, Meryl uh, joins as well. He says, uh, "Yes, uh, yes, of course. Uh, yes, I, I join as well." Um. Cyrus joined the moment you said something about making the world a better place. Yeah. It's an easy sell. So, gentlemen, are we all game? Uh, yes. I think so. we are. That's the way to do it. Uh. Alright, he, uh, Pukinolo is, is chuffed that you're all aboard, and uh, he asks you all to. He pays for you all to have a take a room in the tavern this evening and says he'll meet you in the morning to uh, meet your employer and uh, and head out. Oh, cool. All right. Well. Wow. Oh, Grind has got mercenary life. That's just from the mercenary background. I just, yeah. <laughs> Marvellous. So, whilst you're all sleeping, I would refer you back Tomb, Legend Keeper, to fill yourselves in on the Planetine Forest and the Vimart Mountains. Uh, I'm open to uh, requests to read those descriptions, or you can read them yourself, whatever you prefer. I don't want to listen to you read. Ooh, I didn't see the forest one before. Uh, I know, there's new things added. Uh, where are we looking? Uh, so Mid- Kirkwall mm-hmm. is, um, if you're looking at the map, there's like that really big river or inland sea. Uh, yeah, that's the Waking Sea, and Kirkwall is on the north coast, uh, close to the mouth, but not not quite there. Just oh, north of okay, some islands. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you yeah, can see we've got, got the Palatine Kirkwall. Forest to the left, and, and then the yeah, north. yeah. Uh, uh, Doesn't sound ideal. Mm. And it's <laughs> oh, I mean that sounds cool as fuck. I mean, um, not not cool. <laughs> sounds um, like... very nice. And we're looking at the forests. So it was the forest and um, Cumberland, right? Uh, no, the Vimar Mountains. I mean, Cumberland okay. Green, Cumberland too. <clears throat> uh, the, the gist of the whole situation is that the uh, cool. the Vimont Mountains are getting on for impassable. They're not. It's not impossible. People do it, but it's not generally considered much of a route that anyone would willingly take as they can have another option. Um, it's a pretty pretty craggy place, and by comparison, the Planetine Forest you know, there was once a very well travelled road there. It's a, it's a well established route. Mm-hmm. Um, it's fallen falling on hard times these days, which is partly what you guys have been employed to try and rectify. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, the, the, there's a trade route. Things, you no, know, it's always been a thing. So it's not yep. you're not reshaping the wheel. Either. All right. Does um does the music man have a plan for us to deal with this, or are we free to kind of come up with our own strategy, kind of thing? Uh, so he's um he's going to introduce you to his employer tomorrow. So we can, if you're all comfortable, you've read all that stuff. We'll do that now. The- Mm-hmm. Um, overnight, uh, thinking that he will we'll be going like out in the wilderness. It might be helpful. Um, uh, Meryl summon is going to ritual cast uh, find familiar uh, to summon a uh, little little owl. Oh, I was hoping for a smaller rabbit. Don't have a character for that. Do you want a larger rabbit? <laughs> That's cool. If, if you give me a character sheet, I can populate it. That's fine. Well, no, I, I can import one in a heartbeat. I just want to check if you need one. Oh, that's cool. Um, in preparation, <laughs> Cyrus is going to brush up on the teachings of the Path of the Light because. <laughs> normal owl. That makes sense. Just a normal owl. Does he have a name? 
Oh. What's your familiar's name? Yes. <gasps> oh no. Oh. <laughs> the pressure. Owly. Uh, it's it's Hooter. <laughs> He's gonna change it to another creature and be like, I don't know what to call you now. His name uh, is Spot. He is he has no spots. Thing, <laughs> Salumia is gonna head into Kirkwall and arrange a message back to Ostwick to his pal Joe to ask him if he can keep an eye on the uh Miscellaria for a while. Nice. Those are going to be Italian. That's Butcher. Got it. The shop. <laughs> and what's the uh, what's the what's our name? Uh, um, uh, Bigsby. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right, uh, hang on. Well, I suppose overnight as well, Krend will continue reading his book. You should all now be able to see Bigsby. Bigsby! Hey. hey! That owl is going to be bigger than you, and he is going to pick you up and feed you to his young. Yes. <laughs> uh, he's, he's a tiny beast. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah, he's not a giant owl. He has, oh, a, okay. he has right. a single hit point. <laughs> we have to get you to higher level so you can summon creatures bigger than you. Bigsby exists. Bigsby exists. Uh, he, he he's just like I mean, even though he is tiny, he is still like half the size of my torso. So, <laughs> <laughs> fierce and better prey, as far as you're concerned. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just standing on like my head as as uh, we walk down in the morning. Uh, hello, hello there, chums. Um, uh, ready for a, a fine day of adventuring, are we? Yes. <laughs> oh yes, what? very excited. I think with the, uh, the people that have been taking these uh, these are traveling carts. Like, if we just teach them that the uh, error of their ways, we should just be able to get them all sorted. No bloodshed needed. I've heard it's stretching is good uh, when it's adventuring. Do we want to stretch now or stretch later? Um, oh my uh, god, you shut the fuck up! <laughs> you want to stretch now and stay warmed up. And uh, Cyrus, if you think talking and to people will uh, win them over, uh, you can go first. <laughs> Quite okay. I'm enjoying the diplomatic evil man. <laughs> <laughs> he's the most imposing of the group. He's just actually quite the man. Cyrus does he's have. Used to working with different people. A lot. Used to working with assholes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Familiar, familiar with the Slimiers of the world. Look, no reasonable human being becomes a mercenary. <laughs> Slimier is just a grump. Cyrus, you know, does have seventeen charisma. So. Slumia has minus one. And points uh, Errol, in Meryl begins stretching with gusto. What <laughs> character does really start to piss me off, Ed? <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus um, is going to follow Meryl's lead of stretching and just try to mirror it, but badly. Uh, Krend is going to try and correct these animals on how to do stretching. <laughs> Because I feel like they're not very good at it. So Rumio is going to perch himself, going to perch himself on like a wall and just sharpen his cleaver while looking at the lads and just sort of shaking his head. Um, Cyrus reacts well with the the teaching because he is quite a dexterous boy. He just doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's very dexterous. Meryl's Meryl's relative. Donny present. Donny is going to shout across at Meryl like. Uh, hey, rabbit man, can you speak to animals? Um, well, um, if given sufficient time to prepare, um, I do have uh, a spell which allows me to uh, comprehend them, their speech. Uh, can you speak to bears? Um, I, 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 I could mind, speak to them. Whether they could uh, understand me is another matter, sir. Well, I might have a favor to ask of you, <laughs> with bears. You um, see, I, I got quite a history with some of these here bears. <laughs> now I just imagine you going, 
My name is Downey Hogsweller. And then just reading out your life story again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Donnie repeats his life story to Meryl, who is far too polite to refuse to listen. Oh, absolutely not. Now, you tell me if you meet a bear called Large Marge. You, you remember that? Uh, I absolutely will. You, you tell me. Die, die. You will be the first one to know. <laughs> all right, you're all there. Um, Puccinello turns up, and he has somebody in tow. He's not alone. There is another woman, another another person with him, and it's a woman. So he a uh, woman. He, he rolls up and says, uh, Sorry, "Friends, co-ops, I'd like to introduce my fine fettled friend, Joan." Hello. <laughs> The who there? Joe, Joe, ah, Joe looks you up and down and looks a little bit skeptical. Um, but uh, she's she, she she's 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 an open-minded gal, so she's not she's not walking. Is that just one who's got his finger up his bum and just smelling? <laughs> <laughs> you you point me to what you want, killing Joan, and I'll do it right away. Uh, oh, lovely. She seems a bit unconvinced. She she looks a bit, a bit thin, a bit um, kind of thin-lipped and unimpressed. But uh, he, oh, oh, <clears throat> as soon as she turns up, when Puccino int- introduces her, can I get the party to roll perception check, please? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, now we're playing, boys. Where the fuck? Where the oh man? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gone. I keep closing my fucking character sheet and then being like, uh, Andy, you? you've whispered that to me for some reason. He probably hasn't fixed the always whisper rolls thing in the background. Uh, I'm glad we're starting off strong, guys. I've fixed it for you, don't worry. Oh. What did the two numbers mean? Uh, it's advantage and disadvantage. Oh, okay. So yeah, so cool. first roll is the roll you, the roll you take normally. If you get advantage or disadvantage, <laughs> that's when the second roll comes played, uh, Roll 25E, e, is he? No. Roll 25E. E. Wait, we've skipped yeah, some that, additions, that guys. That's exactly what we're playing, then. I know, but when it was it was it was rolled into one sentence there, yeah, and in my head I was like, "What the fuck is roll twenty five e? What's twenty fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons?" Lumia and Cyrus, come with me. I'm scared. Should be. I'm sure this is going to go. Hundred percent. She is a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> it's cringe to have a history with mimics. <laughs> he's he just, doesn't. But he's, he's just paranoid. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great character background. It's like had one bad encounter with a mimic. Is now terrified. Everything is a mimic. <laughs> Just like is walking around, just like prodding, like stabbing, like random bits of furniture. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, there's just no way. Loudly announces, "Boy, I sure do love mimics. I wish I'd get to meet one." And then stabs any furniture that moves. Does like a barrel roll and then shoots like the fucking chair with a crossbow. <laughs> I came back in to shoot the chair with a crossbow. No, it's hypothetical. To barrel roll, shoots a chair with a crossbow. <laughs> I mean, this is awfully dramatic, but mm. it's not happening right now. So, uh, yeah, it's a hypothetical. he introduces you to Joan. She seems fine. Yeah, friendly enough. Joan's fine. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> she, she doesn't, if we're honest, she doesn't seem the most friendly of people, but Puccinello seems very enamored with her. So, uh, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't give any explanations to who she is or why she's there, other than that she introduces her as Joan. And uh, without further ado, he leads you to a very large house. So he leads you across the sea, some some distance. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, there's a very large house with a little gate and some sort of walls and a courtyard in front of it. And uh, there's a man, there's a there's a large man with slick back hair and a big kind of heavy coat uh, stood <laughs> out in the courtyard, directing some people doing some things with some carts. And as you approach, 
he 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 looks he looks he sees Commissioner Eleven. He goes, you know, puts his finger in the air and rubs his hands. He goes, ah, and the uh, and uh, he, as you approach him, he uh, he goes, hello, gentlemen, lady, good to see you. <clears throat> I am Hugo Fall. I sit on the Wall Council for trade. And I have need of your services. There is trouble in the Planocene. I would greatly appreciate it if you could investigate. I have uh, I have furnished Cuccinello with the details. He will uh, he will accompany you in the first way, and he has his own task to achieve. But uh, I wish you all the well. Now, do, do any of you have any needs before you leave? Uh, can we get a cart so we can better impersonate traders and lure these bandits out? Ah, a fine idea, my good man. That can be arranged. Uh, I shall have one ready for you before the before noon. Oh. Anything Sorry. else? So it's just nodding along this whole time. Nothing to add. Uh, uh, no, uh, Meryl. Salutes. <laughs> salutes. Uh, it's like a left-handed bad can salute. Get some uh, empty sacks on this cart, please. Uh, that can be arranged, good man. Not a problem at all. Is that all? What? Oh, good. I'll be off then. And, uh, <laughs> with a surprisingly sprightly gait for such a slight, such a heavy-set man, he strides away. <laughs> What a what a happy man, oh. isn't it? Some might say too happy. Yeah, for those of you who are interested, Hugo Fall has an entry on the wiki. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> I remember this mother. I remember this chap. I also remember this. I recognise him because he's named after her. Yeah, that was a given. No, I don't know what you're talking go, about. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hang on, Isaac Slander. Mac remembers this chap. <laughs> yeah. All right. While you're while you're reading up on your your past entities, I'm gonna go get a bit. <laughs> oh look, there he is. Never forget this by. <laughs> the spice Somewhere. must flow. I'm not going to have another beer, but I am going to have a whiskey. Oh. What whiskey shall I have tonight? Johnny Walker Blue Label. I'm going to have some Johnny Walker Black. No. Just as a fuck you to Dan. Yeah, that's a bit like that. I mean, I've got black because it's in front of the blue. That's yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a good reason. Seems a bit racial to me, but you know, that's fine. Oh, I've got some Bush Mills. Fuck. Yeah. Did you just forget what whiskies you have? I've got a lot of whiskies somewhere. How many whiskies do you have? Uh, currently on my shelf, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen bottles. That's a lot. Can we get a photograph? Uh, some of them are under my desk. And he's only wearing towels, so, you know. Yeah, that's probably true. So a selfie, then. <laughs> Low angled selfie, please. There's there's about ten bottles up there. And then there's some under my desk. Alright, so rather than having many, many splash pages on uh, Roll20... For looking at like city scenes or anything like that, I'd just direct you to the Legend Keeper because yeah, I'm not duplicating all those on the <laughs> That makes sense, yeah. Uh, you know, like, I'm, yeah, I'm not employing every single thing on, yeah, because Royal 20 is really bad at managing that stuff. So, you approach the Planocene Forest, you have a cart. Uh, sorry, car. one really quick thing before yeah, we yeah. leave. Oh, yeah, I've, I've jumped ahead. Yeah, sure. can in preparations are welcome. Ba basically, all I want to do is collect like empty vials and like wrapping paper. Almost, I can't think of a better word for it. And like sacks, so that if there is some kind of dangerous creature, we can extract useful things from the <clears> body. <throat> oh. 
Lovely. If that's okay. That, that's fine. Kren's going to jerk Wonderful. off some monsters. Confirmed. Ugh, you're trying to get their precious fluids. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Yep. Yeah, I think we're good. That's all for me. Sorry, yeah. Just wanted to do that ahead of time in case it's a creature doing this. Lovely. Uh, here with me two seconds. So, you head out on the road. And you've added a car, which I need to account for. As 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 we set off on the cat car, um, Donnie sh shouts, "Ooh wee! If you could see me now, Pappy." <laughs> <laughs> so you ha so Puccinello leads you, and if you I refer you to the the uh, the Atlas, if you zoom in on Kirkwall, uh, it's a it's a it's a long way from Kirkwall to Cumberland. Um, and it takes you a good, it takes me till that evening to get start. Basically, to leave Kirkwall, you have to head north towards the North Mountains, sort of north uh, west. And you can see where the uh, basically there's not really any passable areas around the um, little delta that's there for the rivers to come out of the mountains. Uh -huh. So you basically have to head north to the point where the rivers all become one, where that's where the sort of passing is. So all the trade flows around that sort of near the mountains there. And uh, it's nearing sort of nightfall, getting onto evening when you approach and you finally reach the, uh, the little pass over the river. There are a few that there are a few about, but this one's sort of the, the main one. Um, it's just about big enough for like a, a normal size cart, but no, the, the bridge itself is no bigger. And Puccinello, he, 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 him and Joan have been with you for a while, and uh, they, they they turn to you just as you're reaching the bridge and say, "Oh, we have we have another task." We'll, uh, we'll see, see you anon, and uh, hope to see you soon. We'll, so we'll meet you at the edge of the planting forest. Um, and they head off on a fork in the road towards the North Mountains, so they're not crossing the river, they're heading further north. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you... Can I get uh, an order for who's where on the cart or in the party? How are you travelling? Uh, well, Krend is proficient with land vehicles, so he can be driving the cart, so to speak. Yeah, I would like um, Bigsby to be flying above us, and I'm going to be sat on the car um, telepathically linked to him, try, like seeing what he's seeing and trying to like keep a bird's eye view. Salumia is just going to be sort of sat on the back, sort of looking behind what we've just gone past. Naxor is a sneaky boy, so we'll probably be scouting, I guess, a little ways ahead. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so sneak, sneak bad back, perception. Swinging his legs, but not really paying attention to what's actually going on. Bonnie's sitting in the middle, Whitland. All right. Also, I'm gonna insist you forgive me ahead of time for the uh, the cart because didn't anticipate that. Had a cart, not the ideal image, but it'll do. Right. <laughs> You'll take what you can get. For what it's worth. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> So, uh, Naxor, uh, Naxor and uh, Meryl, um, mm -hmm. you roll me perception checks based on, well, Naxor on your own, and Meryl, I assume, can you roll me perception check based on Bigsby's perception? Yes. Um, am I able to um, use Bigsby's um, character oh, sheet? Uh, probably not currently, bear with me. Uh, now, I think the owl has, like, advantage on... Um... You, got, you can now. Sight based um, perception? You do. Uh, uh, bo, 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 bo. Ah, yes. Catch you. Uh, bo, 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 uh, perception. Uh. <clears throat> Alright, the light, the light is now failing. It's getting dark. But uh, you, you both. Pop. There, there's something on toward the There are shapes moving in the shadows on the. You're in quite a craggy part, almost like a pass that with the river through running through it. Um, and there are things out there that. You know, there's something moving in the dark. Uh, how would you like to proceed? Do you want to. Do you want to you're in the bridge. You're going to carry on sort of onto the bridge, or you're going to. How, how many things 
roughly? Are there like loads of them, or just like it's not a lot? Like you're not seeing hundreds of things. Like there, there's uh, there's a few. Th- you know, it's like a a shape here and there. There's stuff moving in the dark, but it's not like crazy numbers. Uh, Max um, was going to go back to the cart and suggest, uh, maybe, maybe we should set up loudly, set up camp here for the night. So maybe they'll come to us across that narrow-looking bridge. Uh, okay, if it's reported that there's stuff nearby, Krend is going to draw his uh, his longsword. I draw my longsword. Well, okay, more accurately, he draws a hilt from his uh, waist, and uh, when you're not quite looking, it turns into a full longsword. Lovely. Like that. Um, uh, Cyrus is going to take out his symbol of the path of light, which is glowing brightly. Uh... Yeah, no, Beryl, um, seeing that, was like, oh, 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 crumbs, it's happening, um, is, uh, pulls out his rapier and sort of, like, uh, tries to hold it intimidatingly. Uh, I like, I like Naxal's idea of loudly setting up camp here while being ready to be attacked. So is going to slowly prepare his short bow so that he can be, uh, ready to act. So... Naxal's going to pitch a tent. <laughs> Uh, your friend stops the cart. You stop the cart just short. Yeah. There's a nice little clearing just short of the uh, bridge. Wonderful. So if we and, stop uh, the cart pitch, here. pitch up there, and you haven't been there long when you hear a rustling. And I would like you all to roll me initiative, please. Oh dang! Uh oh! Boosh! It's a good roll. Shit, I should have... Oh, fuck. I'm such a fucking... This is the most dexterous character I've ever made. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Richard. Rolled a six. Yeah. <laughs> you can all get fucked with your double figures. Who needs also, double figures? The most, the most dexterous yes, character you've ever made has the same bonus to initiative that mine does, who is uh-huh. not a chari- who is not a dexterity character. <laughs> I didn't say I was good at making Dex characters. <laughs> <laughs> they normally don't have any. <laughs> mm, that's true. We'll take it. Baby steps. Yeah, this one's my first character to have double figure intelligence. <laughs> God, that is that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> um, what is your character's strengths in this one, Richard? Uh, charisma. Then Dex, then he's good at Constitution. Nice. Oh, you're a sorcerer as well, aren't you? Uh, rogue. Rogue, oh. Uh, his yep. main strength is uh, stealth and intimidation. Nice. <laughs> you won't know I'm there, but you'll be intimidated. And what race is he? Uh, Ace Moon. No, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Oh, I'll keep doing this thing. Uh, uh, there we give go. the select token. Yeah. Um, just so you know, Sam, we can see the name of that thing on the yeah, that's right. turn order. That's fine. Just only, only, yeah. only on one yeah. of them. I, I don't yeah. know. What is that I can't uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you. That that kind of stuff is just roll twenty jank. So. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not. Ah, uh, but luckily you're not, you're not, you're not seeing the you're not seeing the rolls, are you? No, no, we can see their rolls. We can't see the oh, rolls. In, sorry, in the we chat. can see their. Uh, we can see. We can't the see the rolls on the. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, don't you're, you're yeah. Good, yeah, and we can't highlight them to find out where they. are. <laughs> oh, that's a oh, that's some dirty shit. All right, <clears throat> Meryl. There are things moving in the dark. Uh, um, well, um, I guess if I can't see anything, uh, I'm going okay. to, um, as a bonus action, uh, start my blade song. Cool. Uh, uh, so Meryl starts uh, whipping his uh, rapier around in like a ritualistic kind of dance and uh, like m- magic sort of moats and whatnot fling around him and uh i am 
better at a lot of things now. Um, and then at the same time, I'm going to like boop the cart and cast light on it. All right. So you want the cart to generate light? Yes. Can you use uh, that in chat as to how much it is? It's a 20 foot radius and uh, a bright light, and then 20 feet uh, additional yeah. dim light. I think I can do that. Where is uh, the car? Let's uh, go. Me. Bippity. Under everyone. Oh, Just everyone. like in the middle, I suppose. Um, as you go, bippity, boppity, boo. Please tell me you say that as you do it as well. <laughs> uh, the magic incantation. 20 foot bright light. And dim light for 40. For another. <laughs> a total of 20. Yeah, a total of 40. Right, you should have now had the light. Does that appear? Yes. That's all changed for you. Perfect. I wasn't sure. I can't see what you can see, so I don't know. <laughs> as somebody with dark vision. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, that'll be my turn. Alright. Cyrus. Um, Cyrus is a little bit panicked, a little bit scared. Um, and he clutches his holy symbol, which is glowing tighter, and looks around at the group and starts praying quietly to himself. Um, and as he does, he casts Bless at level one. Um, which means that uh, Krend, Salumie, and Little Bunny Boy um, are now blessed. So whenever you make an attack roll or a saving throw, um, you can roll a d4 and add that to your Do roll. Do you want to post that in chat just so we've got it? Yeah, boy. Has, um, has Salumie got dark vision, Sam? Uh, I don't think he has. No, he has. Have you? Can you give him dark vision on the? Oh, if you've got it, then I've given it to you. All right. And I'm just going to make a note of the fact that he is blessing. Yeah, you, can, you, should, be, Andy, you should be able to see best part of sixty feet. Bless. Not quite. That's that's <laughs> as far as I can see. You're good. Andy. It'll yeah. it'll dim for the last like ten feet. Yeah, you're you're, you're good. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Just dark as balls. <laughs> yeah, so the last 10 feet dims out, but it is, yeah, that's dark. It's just because if I if I set it to 60 feet hard, you just get like a line where you can suddenly see everything. Yeah. So I'll give it a bit of blur at the edges. Have you whispered that, Dan? Um. They uh, put bless it. in the chat. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All oh, right, this looks weird. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, is that any of your turn? That does end my turn. Yeah. So you guys are blessed. Krend. Okay. Krend is going to cast armor of Agathis on himself. There's that. Uh, so I gain ten temporary hit points because it's a second level spell slot because I'm a warlock. Um, and deals 10 damage if people hit me, so that's good. I have to remember that. Um, I can write that in the number if you want. That would be sensible. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and Krend will move forward to be just just going to move forward like 15 feet up this uh, up this bit here, and is just going to stand ready with his sword drawn, waiting for something to come closer. And that'll end my turn. <laughs> they come from behind us. Oh, they always come. <laughs> oh! Cyrus doesn't get that joke. Oh, I forgot. Innocent party, please. <laughs> Sam? I'm trying to make it so everyone can see your temporary hit points, but I can't. Don't, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll sort it out. I think I can do it. I, I've, I've said it. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, you, you, you can crack about, that's fine. Right. Salumia. Uh, Salumia uh, is going to hop off the cart. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And kind of just head towards the edge here a bit. Bow drawn. Um, He's going to slowly kind of... Actually, do you know what? 
Salumio is going to do. He's going to. Actually, that's a stupid idea. You can hold an action to shoot something. That's always useful when we can't. Yeah, see uh, we'll hold. We'll hold an action here. I think. So, what are you holding an action to do? Uh, shoot my bow. At anything that appears. So you're going to hold an action to shoot the first thing you see. That no, is hostile. Anything, anything that appears that's hostile. Yeah, no, I was sorry. I'm not being. Really... Yeah, Naxal bumps into him, fucking decks him. Ah! Beautiful. Turns around, shoots him, falls in the river. Donnie! Yeah, he dies. He Reroll. Oh shit, Donnie's got the most health of any of you. Yeah. 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 Some of us are not happy about this. Tank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, when's he getting his mech suit? Yeah. That's the question. Um, Donnie is gonna stand on the bridge and ready, ready in action to shoot something that appears out of the darkness. Okay, so you've got two. We've got two ready actions now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm going to do what everyone else has done. You know, I'm going to slip slip onto the bridge in between Krent, but I'm going to hide behind Krent. So, with the cunning action to actually hide <laughs> behind Krent, but ready in action with my whip to whip and it comes, I think, within 10 feet because it's got reach. Whip, crack, crack, whip, tail. When do you uh, when do you nay nay though? Ooh. Um, after I've whipped. That's okay. That's the correct really? order of doing it. You whip, then you. Uh, I will bonus action nay nay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's get actually out. one of my cunning actions. <laughs> get out! Get out! Get out. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, you hear a kind of strange hissing noise and uh, a shadowy figure. Um, a sort of, uh, hang on, let me just do this. So, I think it's safe to say anyone with dark vision could probably see this. Oh, wonderful. Um, I don't know about, okay, who's not got dark vision? I do not, uh, but I am producing uh, light. Donnie, uh, Donnie, you're going to struggle to see this. <laughs> Meryl and I Cyrus, can't you see will... much. So Donnie, Meryl and Cyrus, those of you without dark vision, you're going to struggle to see. You, it's a figure in the shadows, but it's not. Uh, you couldn't be sure what you're seeing as something just it's a humanoid figure mm -hmm. so a figure leaps down from the kind of t a crag above on the far side of the bridge and lands uh across the bridge and takes a cheeky stroll mm -hmm. oh cheeky oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh yeah come on i can see him now Come on. Right, can we shoot? Can we use our. Yeah, I will. Donnie and Slumia, as he approaches the bridge, I will allow you to take a hell actions as he emerges from the gloom. Uh, a 12. No. Hang on. Hang on. I have advantage. Oh, you're not this again. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> this again. <laughs> it is returned. Um. Does uh, sorry, this is a does he get sneak attack because he stood adjacent to Donnie? But Donnie's not. Oh right, yeah, cool. Sorry, yeah, yeah. No, sorry, that's me being stupid. So why do you get sneak attack, Simia? No, he, does, he doesn't. But he does get the extra D four, which is why he's got the extra two. Oh yeah, Bless, yeah. right. So you're taking a, uh, but it doesn't matter because you miss. You It'll be a fourteen to hit. Because oh, he has bless. Yeah, bless adds to the attack roll. Right, gotcha. Sorry, fourteen to hit. Uh, that hits actually. Me. Nice. Uh, nine damage. Haha, <laughs> I've already helped. Hang this on. Can I now? Build your trap card. Can I find somewhere to hide, please? No, because it's not a turn. <laughs> no, it is. Don't I'm you can't. Oh, you, yeah, can... yeah, yeah. Oh, you held your action, Eddie. <laughs> you held your action, so it is not your turn. Yeah, right, okay. Donnie. 
You've held an action, therefore you can now take an attack action. Uh, good. This is doom blows. That, oh. that is a no. Roll a d4. Oh. <laughs> it won't help. Also, I didn't give it to you, so never mind. <laughs> oh, so Sorry. I cast a cutting word on Andy. My favourite thing about Donnie's roll is that he had a nat 1 and a nat 20 in the same go. I mean, that yeah. is, honestly, as your first attack in in. Inside, that's that is, that is ominous. Yeah. All right, uh, Donnie, can you roll me a D4? Just a straight. So if you go to the left, there's a little twenty-sided dice shown on the sort of little thing on top left. I've just, just... I've just rolled the wrong one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, D4. All right. I take the D6 result. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Donnie, you you fire off your crossbow, but you're a bit spooked by this figure appearing from where you weren't expecting it, and uh, you kind of. Oh. And uh, you you actually squeeze the trigger a little bit too early, and you shoot your uh, crossbow directly into the big thick rope that's holding up the bridge you're standing on. Oh god damn it, Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> if you kill me with your first attack, <laughs> I will haunt you. <laughs> the, uh, oh, wow. the rope on the bridge is a, it's a fair it's you know, it's a good like two or three inches thick. This is not this is no string okay. like string bridge. It, it's substantial, but taking a direct hit for I believe it is. I mean, it's only four damage because what the fuck? Um, so it, it, it's not—it's still there, but it's frayed, and it's—you can just like, you know, that sensation when you're looking at something that's supporting your weight, and you can see it slowly weakening. That. Oh, <laughs> so fuck, it, oh, fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! It's a thick—it's a thick rope, but it's—it's it's frayed, and you can see it as I don't know, every time one of you moves to do something or anything, it just frayed, it just untwists a little bit more. This is fine. We'll be fine. In the spirit of that, I also held an action to whip the thing. <laughs> you did, yeah. You did, and he's now within 10 feet. Take away. And I get sneak attack because Kren's within 5 feet of the, the beast. Oh, uh, yeah. You're within 5 feet. Yeah, I'll allow that. Also, um, can you use the whip through an ally, as it were? Uh, I think it's willing creatures you can attack through because the assumption is that Kren would get out of the way. Okay, that's fair. I'll yeah. I just is, is, just is, somebody else's great knowledge. No, I, I just stand there. <laughs> just is, excuse me. Whip. <laughs> oh, just goes, no. unfortunately, that is an eight. Level three. Level, Level three. three. <laughs> All right. So with that, that is the end of. Oh wait, no, he hasn't actually done any attacks yet, has he? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> just walked no, over. That was a turn. Don't worry, Watch. have you said it? Carry on. <laughs> just run. <laughs> uh, with a with an unpleasant screeching hissing noise, more Lovely. kind of along the lines of uh, Lovely. Uh, the, the the evidently undead thing before you, wearing kind of rusty mail and some rotting flesh, um, has at you with its sword. Mm -hmm. Bring it. Let's go. Uh, does a 10 hit? No. Does a 22 hit? Well, yes, actually, yes. Lovely. So, can you please take uh, 8 slashing damage? Oof. Uh, I, I did uh, more, more than I intended. Uh, okay, in, in that case, uh, <coughs> he takes 10 ice damage from my oh, armor of yeah, Agathis. Armor of this is a great little thing. It's excellent if it lasts for more than one swing, so this is a good result. How much? Ten? Uh, yes, and how much? Oh yeah, I took eight, sorry, yes, yeah. He takes ten ice damage. Alright, that's his turn. Now, other boys emerge. So, to your rear, Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, I was waiting for this. Some pale skinned, chittering, unpleasant fellows emerge and uh, leap down from the crags on high and uh, approach your squidgy casters at the rear. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is oh, that I... causing Cletus over there? So you're seeing, you're seeing these, they're, 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 they're kind of sinewy, muscled, but slim, unpleasant looking, pale skinned creatures without a hair on their bodies and pretty sharp teeth and uh, like broad, flat noses. And they just, they, they, everything about them just screams inhuman, but they evidently were once human. Uh, there is a 
very manly uh, squeal uh, from the rear. <laughs> and uh, was, oh, um, gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, 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 with that, the uh, so the one nearest Meryl is going to have at him. Yeah. And he's going to he reach up to you on top because you're on top of the uh, cart, so you've got a bit of high advantage. So I will I will grant you. I think I'll grant you advantage from on high, but you're still within reach, so he's not going to get this advantage attacking your feet. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, but if you're swinging, if you were swinging something down from on high, I'll allow that. You know, that's harder to defend. You get more momentum. I'll allow that. But uh, yeah, he's going he's to claw at you and kind of scratch at your feet and kind of scrabble at the side of the. Uh, I'm making hand movements. Don't know why you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's, yeah, he's going to run it at you, so uh, he's going to roll that. Um, does a 19 hit? It would if I didn't cast shield. <laughs> All right. Oosh. That, that, yeah, that, that, that miss, shield means that guaranteed misses, pretty much. Well, not guaranteed, but good enough. So. That missed. So the other boy, uh, similar things for Cyrus. Other than um, this, this boy is uh, not not uh, below you, so you weren't going to melee advantage against him, and he's also going to scrabble at you with his. Why is he not below me? Because he jumped onto the cart. Oh, motherfucker! How dare he? I mean, <laughs> how dare? How dare indeed? Stay in character, Dan. Does a does a hit? Yes. yes. Can you please take six slashing damage? Yes. And roll me a constitution save. Oh, I didn't get to use that my last. That is a fail. Cool, and I'm also going to roll a concentration save. You are paralyzed. Oh, can he maintain concentration while being paralyzed? I will check. I can't imagine why not. I think, I think you can, but Christ. I mean, what else is he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, a paralyzed creature is incapacitated and cannot move or speak. You automatically fail strength and dex saves. Attack rolls against you have advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attack is within five feet of the creature. So, so he maintains concentration. Nice. Uh, you can't take actions or reactions, but you do maintain concentration, I think. It, it doesn't say you lose it. Yeah. You are you are a frozen boy. Which is not, not ideal for you right now. Okay. I've given you a little skull to represent your frozenness. Cool. Well, this is gonna be the shortest life of a character I think in this frame. <laughs> <laughs> that is a third of my health gone in one attack. Oh dear. I mean he said he didn't have oh, you're paralyzed. Bear, I I I I'd su- I okay. I'd suggest, bear in mind, you're level three, like, the things you're fighting are not particularly hardy. I don't know, I don't know. It, it's more, I'm looking at how far away our party is. And Cyril is tiny and small, and he is he is scared. You basically split the party instantly. Like, first, I know. first encounter. I know, we, just, we, we, like, we, you just, like, we walk made away, a, a walk hard away from mistake. The you put all of your heavy hitters on a bridge. I, away I from even the said, I even said out loud, they come from behind us. <laughs> <laughs> and we acknowledged it and no. moved away. <laughs> the turn is yours. Uh, yes. Um, so uh, I uh, will draw my uh, flourish my rapier and I shall uh, cast Booming Blade Ooh. on Ooh. Uh, this bitch right in front of me. So I uh, attack him with a uh, rapier attack. Uh, uh, that's going to be a... Hey-o! Shit. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Um, okay, the eight. Oh, you rolled that already. That's... Um, I haven't rolled the booming blade stuff. This is just my rapier attack. Uh, the booming blade. Uh, uh, show just build description. I just need to remind myself. Uh, I want to hit the toughest. So the normal attack when become sheathed in. Yes. Uh, so yeah, if he if he moves before, um. It's already done. It already did six damage at the top. Oh, uh, did it? Yeah. So you did the attack, and then would it do more because of crit? No, because it would double if it's crit. Oh, I see. (laughs) Ha ha. And then I'm going to use uh, my bonus action uh, to rabbit uh, to rabbit hop, and I'm gonna jump over here. 
in uh, out of his way. That's amazing. Uh, that is amazing. Without also, provoking opportunity. Down there is that virus wow. between you and the enemy. Uh, it does not provoke off it. Uh, well, no, I know it doesn't provoke oh, attacks, so. but the guy you just attacked now has no one between him and Cyrus. He will. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Okay. Cyrus. Uh, I end my turn. Uh, you do. Uh, at the end of your turn, you're able to roll another con save. Pass. You're no longer paralyzed. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not, it wasn't a hard DC, you just hard failed. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm fully aware. I've got this um this guy in my head. This guy This guy. You just stop like right. picture. Was it that chair? What guy? Uh sorry, sorry, that is your this turn. Guy. Okay. That yeah, that's what I can do, yeah. yeah. To finish that was in your turn. Uh Krend. Okay, Krend is going to take a swing at this boy in front of him. So, uh, yeah, no other option. So, swinging a longsword. It's a 21. Oh, that will hit. Yeah, it does five damage. Yeah. God, level five is fun, eh, boys? It's not even level five. We're level three. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sam just created Sam this just went, um, what? I guarantee <laughs> Sam did this camp, this fight based on the idea that level five. <laughs> nope, definitely didn't. <laughs> All right, uh, that will that will uh, give it Krend's that, position. Be dead by now. <laughs> Krend is going to end his turn here, but he's going to shout at all the chuckle fucks behind me to go help them get off the bridge. So yeah, that'll end his turn. Sumia. You're blessed, you have targets. Right. Salumia is going to. Just gonna smoke another pipe. Yeah. And have a whiskey. Salumia is gonna go about. You basically described every single character Andy's ever made there, but carry on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's going to run at this guy. Yeah. And he's gonna have at him with. His cleaver. Now I get advantage, correct? You are flanking him, I'll give you advantage. But I get a sneak attack as well. You'll get a sneak attack because you have advantage. Huh? Yeah. You'll have sneak attack because you have advantage. Right. Okay. So, I get this. Which hits. Uh, hits. So, I also then get 2d6. Uh, that's that's a hardy hit. You've, you've cleaved into his uh, calf. He stood above you, so you've kind of three at his legs. And? He is limping hard. He looks, he's definitely lopsided. Um, <clears throat> can I disengage? You made bonus action disengage, yes? Cunning action. Which is a bonus action. And I'm going to move over here. I'm going to... Does that conclude your turn? It does. Alright. Donnie! Right. So... Where is the car in this? Cyrus um, uh, and Meryl are still on it. Just on the car. If I was better a better DM, there'd probably be a horse in front of it, but I didn't get that far. Cause... I can't even see a car. Really? Can you not see the car? I can't no, see the, this whole time. Oh, I, I, thought, I, was... I wish you'd said something. Like, oh, I, I, thought, I honestly yeah, didn't just, realize that. How can you see it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, the whole fucking time. Sorry, guys. I honestly assumed it was like a tiny token underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, That's exactly what I thought. I've been able to see it the whole time. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh well. I'm special. It's my perception. Why could you see it? That's weird. <laughs> Richard is accidentally the DM. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. All right, whatever. Carry on. Rocks fall. Uh, Sam dies. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I can generate more of these boys. Uh. Okay, so I am going to. Hang on, I've got a. 
thing where I can mark someone, can't I? Yes. It, is it favoured foe? Yes. Uh, it happens when you just hit something for the first time. Oh, okay. So I don't need to yeah. have to mark anything. So right now his favourite foe is the bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Well, you all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, you, man. <laughs> I'm going to step off the bridge. Which way? Uh, this way. <laughs> Not off the edge. <laughs> Into the water. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to shoot uh, this guy. Why is my not clicking? Why is it not? You have to hold it. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Roll away, bud. Great reference, Ed. Well done. Oh. Yes. And I've got Glottis Slayer as well. Uh, that only that will that will come into effect, but it is irrelevant. He is dead. Oh. Okay. Uh, when you do, I have any other things I can do? No, I don't think I do. Um, yeah, yeah I, don't, I can't do anything else. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Donnie yeah. says, sorry, cousin Cletus. <laughs> Alright, uh, Maxwell, think about your turn while I take a pee. I love the idea that Donnie is going to confuse every single enemy with some relative of his, but thankfully he doesn't like his relatives. <laughs> it's very, very matter of fact about everything. This is for never returning the soup spoon. <laughs> the soup spoon. <laughs> that was my favourite soup spoon. Oh, I need a week. <laughs> oh, that was such a sad thing. Sorry. Poor bow. <laughs> so, did Bo get COVID from um, a patient, do we think? Or uh, not a patient, but a bonus patient? No, yeah. Yeah, dog coughed on it. Although. Yeah. Well, I do understand that there was evidence to suggest early on that household pets could catch it. I don't know if that ever got. Oh yeah, I saw that. Person. I I don't know if that's. I haven't heard anything more about that since like early COVID. So I don't. Know. I just heard that was cats injecting people with the flu. But you know, I mean that's a cat thing to do, really. Well, they are cats. Could get COVID. Yep. How's she finding the lack of taste? Not very good. Yeah, right. She is not happy. Just, uh. Don't eat snacks! I know, I know. Fair warning, um, your sense of taste doesn't quite come back the same. Um, or at least it didn't for me. <laughs> so just kind of watch out for that, I guess. Now it returns. What's what's Bo meant to do with that information? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's <laughs> like, it's useful to know because <laughs> some stuff I found. Like really nice. I now don't like so. Uh, quite a while. Uh, are we all here. <laughs> That's not a guarantee. What if I can't taste the food at Sam and Ash's wedding? It might, it might come back. It'll hopefully come back before then. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what. <laughs> I just want to sleep for a week then. Okay, baby. Go and sleep. You do that. Go and play with the rope or something. I want to enjoy, like, crisps and Vimto and stuff. You can! Just pretend that you can taste it. Andy says just pretend you can taste it. You pretend you can taste it! I don't need to! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad. Alright. While Bo is busy being sad about food, um, Naxor, it's your turn. Yeah, so before you disappeared, uh, I, mean, I did I'm... I did have a question, Sam. <laughs> oh, I'm I didn't come back. Go on. Um, so the, the cart stuff looks like it's handled for now. 
until more whites appear. So can I move through Kren's space and then sort of shimmy round the bad stand at his? You can move through Kren's space to stand here. And I'll allow you to stand on that square whilst being on the bridge. But I'm going to draw a line of moving past him right here. That's a bit much. Okay, then I'm going to stay behind Kren and I'm going to whip him. <laughs> you little bitch. Kinky. Carry on. Kinky little bitch. Uh, 14 misses. Fucking plus four, man. Fucking hell. Mm. Sorry, Sorry, bud. Well, yep. Well, oh, uh, yep. Cool. <laughs> That's my <laughs> turn. <laughs> Alright. Let's see uh, the hissing boys go. Crendy's <laughs> uh, not impressed with you. I can't think why. And he, go, he, turn, he looks, you, oh he looks you straight in the eye. Like, he goes... <laughs> I'm a load of lemon juice. Like, oh, God. And he has at you. Bring it. Um, so That's first good. off, he swings his... Uh, Long sword. <laughs> that one's yeah. cuts the rope. For a 22. Uh, 22 hits. Uh, please take 9 slashing damage. Okay, he takes 10 frost damage. Oh. Is that your temp HP on the round he run out of? Yeah, it's now, it's now gone, yeah. So oh. i got to do 20 damage with it for free, but now it's gone. Alright. And I only have two spells. Now... Left. He reaches out to you and kind of waves his hand in your general direction, kind of as if he's clawing at you. Uh. And uh, does a twenty-one hit? Yes. All right. Take six necrotic damage. Oh no! And roll me a Constitution save. Okay, there's a con save, and I can. Oh, fuck it! I'm going to add the bless to it because otherwise I'm not going to get to use it. Uh, <laughs> that is a succeed. Success. Yay. <laughs> You do, you do succeed. With a 25. Right, you, feel, you feel a cold... You feel a cold force drawing the life from you. But you uh, you square your shoulders and you hold your head high and you, you manage. Excellent. You just take six damage. You can feel it sharp. Uh, but it's I... From, it's probably the nicest thing I've had all day. I, I cast Hellish Rebuke. Is that reaction? Uh, yeah, yeah, as a tiefling, I get hellish rebuke, so he takes <laughs> six fire damage, and I can't use it again. <laughs> you not have to take a deck save. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, he has to he has to make oh, yeah, the deck save. Sorry, sorry, that's me not passes. reading my spells. He passes it. Oh, does he take half or no damage? Let me check that really quickly. Sorry, I think, I it's, think it's no. Half as much on a successful oh, one. Thank fuck. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, I clicked on your show spell description. <laughs> oh, don't do that. So he takes three fire damage. I'm sorry. Yeah. I could drink that into my We've got lime juice in as well. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, you hear uh, you hear a chittering. And, uh... Kren and Naxal, can you roll me separately? Oh god, um, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you taste it at all? Honestly, oh, <laughs> oh no. I can taste something, but again, it's more like... I Super honestly love the idea is. of Tom's first attack roll. He kills two party members. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you hear, you hear, you, you hear, um, understand nothing. That's more Yeah, that's a summary. If it snaps, <laughs> we're fine. Trust me. He's got Featherfall. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it it yeah, doesn't help you Featherfall into an icy river. Like, yeah, I was going to say, it's not the fall of the So, uh, you don't see them coming until they're already virtually there. But, uh, Naxor and Kren, you see some uh, friendly boys crawl oh, no. up the sides of the crag below you. Oh, shit. And start uh, nattering away on the, uh, the ropes that are supporting the uh, bridge. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Tiny gnashes. Fuck. These take spicy. That's good. <laughs> need to eat raw ha like just have a pizza that one. <laughs> we, we we can hear Bo. Um Alright, we'll go uh let me just top that up. 
All right, the bridge is looking a bit ropey. Got him. <laughs> I see what you did there. So the, all is not well. Uh, the things are starting to look a bit a bit dodge. Um, the, the, the two, there's two, two more pale boys having at it, and they're, yeah, they, they've sort of both climbed up the uh, the crag either side. And they've got both hands clamped on the the big sort of rope that supports the whole thing, and they're having a gnash. So, um, yeah, Max or Cren, you're starting to get a bit edgy about that. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, Meryl, um, you've done a hoppity hop uh, right in front of the uh, the fight, the, the last school at the rear. Um, yeah. Um, um, so he's going to attack you because it's his turn, and he is going to roll a twenty-three. That'll hit. Can you take nine slashing damage, please? That's a good roll. That is almost, that is almost peak roll. <laughs> and uh, can you also roll me a constitution save, please? Bless. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was at minus nine. Um, con save, you say... Uh, ooh, is this... Oh, no, this won't be... I was going to say, my blade song likes me... Do I get... Uh, 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 you gain bonus to any constitution saving throw that you make to maintain your concentration on spell. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, yeah, it's just a normal one. Uh, oh, 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 come on. Plus four. You have to roll a d4. Oh, plus eight, d4. Let's, let's hope you roll. Oh, well. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> God fucking damn it. I am sorry to say it, Meryl, but you are paralyzed. <laughs> and just like, and just like, just goes fucking like rigor mortis. Meryl, it's your go! <laughs> uh, when do I make the con save? At the start or the end of my turn? End. It's the end, unfortunately. Oh, uh, well, let's see what happens. Big money! Yeah! <laughs> bless. Plus, plus bless! <laughs> As I said, it's not, it's not a hard save if you're all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it. Good Cyrus, you're up. So, um, Cyrus is going to, as a bonus action first, he's going to push this boy away from him by Ooh, five feet. Nice. Ooh, does he get I am a telekinetic boy, and it is a strength saving throw, which is 13. He, that is a, that is the definition of a catastrophic failure. Excellent. So <laughs> you, you you force him away from your direction, and you this look, of, look of great surprise on his ugly, flat nosed, pale skinned, pasty face. He uh he he's blown away from the the bridge and the edge of the crag, and uh, he falls into the icy waters below, and is never seen again. Excellent. Um, cool. And then he is going to draw his crossbow and shoot this boy here. Are you aware that that's a disadvantage because you're all within five feet? Is that in this game? Fuck. In which that case, is, then? yeah. Um, that's standard DD rules. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Fuck. I thought I was that's, only um, another one. Crossbow expert allows you to fire a uh, <laughs> close range with it. <laughs> Rethink, rethink, panic. Um, if I'm concentrating, can I cast cantrips? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just can't cast spells. You can't cast spells, you just can't cast spells. Oh. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you can cast, like, fucking any, yeah, any spell that's not concentration. I'm going to cast a uh, magic missile. And I'm going to upcast it to a second level spell. Um, which means it's it's going to be four darts of 1d4 plus one force damage. Um, and I'm going to get the first two to hit this boy here. And then the second two for this boy here. Unless I'm allowed to say whether or not after he dies or not. I'm assuming not. I'm going to call it first. Uh, um, can you paste it in chat? Does it specify? 
I think you have to choose all of them. And the then go. Simultaneously. Yeah. Yeah, it says yeah, because yeah. to specifically mention that. Cool. Yeah. You have to specify. That's fine, cool. So I'll specify. Yeah, two on each. So the first two are for the close boy, second two are for the far boy. That's fine. So you've got 2d4 plus 2. So nice. first one gets hit by 9 damage, second boy gets hit by 5 damage. Alright. And then. Um, oh, sorry, I assumed that was your turn. Yeah, almost. I'm going to move here and hop down to this side here is what I'm going to do. Okay. Why you've done that? Whatever. Ben? No, not, not sure why you've done that, but okay. Uh, Krend. Uh, okay, Krend is going to take another swing at the boy in front of him. Uh, there what? it is. Uh I'll, I'll add a d4. I think that might hit anyway, but I I like bless. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Okay, is he still kicking? Uh, what's that? Seven damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, still kicking. How how is he looking? Does he look? I mean, he's he's undead, so I can't really say is he covered in blood because I mean, so he's I mean, fucking Italian. Like. Less good than he was when you started hitting him. Well, that's reassuring. Um, okay. <laughs> if <laughs> are there any more crumbly? Oh. Uh, okay, if Naxor is willing, I want to use my movement to go back and kind of drag him with me. I know that would be half my movement. Is is he willing? Yes. I don't want to okay, be in Okay, uh, in that case, we both move back 15 feet. So I think I'm here and you're, you're behind me. Uh, you are going to take yeah. a attack. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Go for it. I really should have saved that bless. <laughs> it's alright. You roll shit. Yes. Oh, I, I expertly block it and drag Naxor off the bridge. And that'll end my turn. Lovely. Slimia! Right. I'm going back to this piece of shit. Oh! Old strategy, come on, let's see if it pays off. Huh? Nothing! <laughs> you need to... button your lips. I'm a fucking DM. <laughs> like, my job is to talk more than everybody else. Yeah. Hey <laughs> what? Hey, nice. Oh, and he's a rogue, and he gets sneak attack. I... Yes! Roll it all. Double sneak attack. Double sneak. Go ahead, buddy. Ah! <laughs> what? What are oh you? Oh my god! Play? What? Oh, that's that's the wrong ability, but what? <laughs> that's too and uh, just for you don't mean to roll another attack when you do that, Andy. Yeah, well. that's not how that works. He <laughs> already does it with the basket for you. Yeah. yeah. So the, the plus one there is your sneak attack. Is your but but your extra crit damage? Yeah. No, but I get two d six. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a dice roll. Like you need to have sneak attack and an attack. Yeah, there you go. That's oh, yeah. plus one plus seven. And because yeah. he crit with his sneak attack, he gets to roll his sneak attack again. So he gets another two d six. You yeah. really should put sneak attack in as a thing. So I get to roll another two d six. Another two d six. Yeah. This is why crits on rogues are literally the best thing. Mm. So we've got 9, 16, 24. Jesus fucking Christ, that oh. is my health. <laughs> that, that, I mean, I, do I? Yeah. He, he had two hit points. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I mean, he could have had full hit points and it still would have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, there was no good way for that to turn out for him. Salumia dealing out death blows. Just like yeah, oh, that, that, he, yeah, that would have one shot him if he had full health. So, uh, Salumia is attacking him like Salt Bay. Just like sprinkling on the pain. Yeah. Uh. All right, nicely done, Salumia. Donny, you just witnessed uh, the the lanky Italian covered in blood uh, just fucking swing his. I'm not lanky Italian. What? Not a la you call me a lanky Italian. You're not lanky. I'm, 
I'm imagining Wait. you. Uh, well, the Italian. I think we're I'm head- a dwarf, you fucking moron. I thought you were human. No, I'm top dwarf. Really? He yeah. did describe himself as top dwarf, yeah. Am I correct? I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. All I right, all right. I stand corrected. The midget, the Italian midget. I imagine him looking like Waluigi. <laughs> the Wal- were you this one's Wario. Wario. He's Wario. Wario wearing a butcher's. Apron. The Italian stuff. Yeah. All right, so let's let's let me air the. No. Let me air the dwarf. Gonna have to keep repeating that because it doesn't fix in my head yet. <laughs> so let me air the dwarf has just swung a dwarf thatcher cleaver, so it's. Short and stocky, but thick as fuck. And uh, it's clear, yeah, cleave that, that ghoul clean in two before you and release some nice, like a white, dusty paste uh, blood all over you. Um, cleaved in twine. Cleaved in twine. He's now bleeding all over the floor. Bleeding. Uh, Donny. Yeah, bleeding. Um, so. Um, the only the only enemies you can still see are on the bridge. Yeah. So what is the state of the bridge? The bridge is the bridge is not looking great. What are you going to jump up and down and see how it says? It, 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 you know, like if if you had nowhere else to go, you wouldn't think that's a lost cause. You might take your chances on it. No, that there's the both both ropes are now frayed, one more than the other, but they're both still relatively thick in the middle. So we'll see. Okay. Are we are we going to go across this bridge? At all. Well, we want to, because it's where we need to get to. Are we so go if you can the... save this bridge, that would be preferable. I am assuming there might be other crossings, or we can figure out a way over this, but we'd rather keep it intact. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on me using this spell Sam, on the bridge? Um... Entangle. Uh, it specifies the ground. Okay. That's, That's why I was unsure. Yeah, in my head, I'm like, I can't visualize weeds and vines growing out of a bridge. Like, if um, if you started it from the other end, could the <laughs> oh yeah, could the vines like, yeah, go out across start the here? Um. <laughs> I in the twenty foot square, starting from a point within range. Are you trying to use it to strengthen the bridge or to entangle no. the entities? I want to entangle these guys. It's a good shout. All right, yeah, I'll give it. You can all that. Uh, you have to fire it in the far bank, sort of here, and the twenty foot will just about reach across the bridge. So you so, cast, cast and tangle, and a bunch of vines and weeds grow out of the ground. And most of them kind of just blanket the far side of the bridge, but some of them creep out across the bridge. And a good few get all up in the grills of the, uh, the two boys that are nearby. And they are, they are going to roll their saves. So it's a strength save. Isn't it? All right. He fails. Um, he passes. Interesting. Right, the uh, the guy on the bridge looks to be a bit busied, and the one the one sort of hanging off the side of it, who was chewing on it, looks unbullied. This one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the one hanging off the bridge. That'd be great, buddy, but you haven't got any more actions left. What? Spells cost an action. <laughs> what? That, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the that's how the rules of the game work, buddy. Well, maybe they shouldn't. Uh, I'd like to take twelve attacks on my turn. I would like to cast every spell in the Possibly game. Though, <laughs> entangle is really fucking it's, helpful in this juncture yeah. because yeah, it basically means good. there's at least one turn where he can't run over and hit us. Yeah. All right. Uh, unless you want anything, you can do your bonus action, Donnie. That's probably it. Uh... It's not, it, it wouldn't surprise me if at level three you don't have any of your actions. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I don't yeah, think I don't. you will. Yeah, I don't have any bonus actions. Naxor. Um. 
How far do the vines come? That or are they only up against baddies? No, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the terrain. terrain. Yeah. So how far across the bridge do they come? Just up to. So back to this square here. Yeah. So I was going to run stab back. Well, can't, don't you have range? So you could run up to that whip. I could run and way. whip. Yeah. Whip it good. Oh, but then I, I can't use my bonus action to nae <laughs> Uh So despite Nax um, Gren pulling me off the bridge, I'm going to run back onto the bridge. Um, whip the bad boy. Which one are you whipping? The closest. The It doesn't matter anyway. This guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, miss, and then. Uh, you have advantage. You still miss. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then yeah. I I come back off the bridge. <laughs> Good turn, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking part. You still miss with this, with advantage. <laughs> yeah. Nice. My attack rolls haven't been um, ideal. <laughs> All right, this sat boys go. All right, he's gonna take an action to try and free himself from all this bullshit. Well, actually, he's he's restrained, isn't he? Yep. He can't, he can't move, but he can take actions. Yeah, he can still. So he's not gonna. He's not gonna bother with his. Uh, gonna bother with his uh, movement. He doesn't need that. He, he, he with a, with great calm. He, he sheaths his ghoulish-looking sword, and he draws a rather vicious-looking longbow. And he eyes up Kren, who has done so much to him in the past. Oh bollocks! And releases one arrow after another. Uh, I, I cast shield. Uh, that was wise. Yeah, I'm thinking um, so. That was a nine hit. No. What about a twenty-four? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. It's not a good noise. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I'm gonna screenshot that because I'm so you ready. May not believe me. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I believe you. Is it exactly no, 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 eleven no. damage? Oh, you jammy bastard! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am down. Oh, then. for fuck's sake! <laughs> I can't use bless on my DC. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Session one! Get in there! Oh, that shield was a waste of my second spell slot as well because the first one didn't hit anyway and the second one hit regardless. No, it's still oh, in the well. turn, so it affected both. Yeah, no, I know, but it, it wouldn't have helped with the second oh, one. Oh, yeah, no, it wouldn't It have brought helped. my AC up to 23. <laughs> oh, gutted. It's so close. I mean, that, that, you know, it wasn't at 20. But yeah, yeah. Well, it would, yeah, it's fair. It's and fair. He, did, he, did right. roll max, he rolled minimum damage on the first roll or maximum damage on the second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, I am down there. <laughs> I, I, I didn't expect that until now. <laughs> All right. Uh, that, that's his turn, if that's any satisfaction. Sure. <laughs> All right. The uh, the other chittery boy is gonna climb onto the bridge. That's now difficult to rain, so he's gonna go ten. Thirty. Uh, and he can't move any further than that. So the only logical thing to do is attack Kren. Oh no no no! I mean, you're down, so he has advantage. But even so, I still think that eleven probably will miss. So it does. Yep. Also, I'd still technically have the shield spell up. Yeah. Huh. Never thought about that before. You still what? blessed as well for saving the death saving phrase. Oh okay. yeah. That's good. As you know, if you could heal me, that uh, would be Meryl. I have no healing. Meryl, uh You are the worst cleric. I'm not a cleric. Uh, you think you are, though. I know. 
<laughs> you're the worst <laughs> fucking cleric. You're the worst cleric. I'm not a cleric, but you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> the worst fake cleric. Uh, so Meryl is... Uh, he's going to scamper over the uh, cart, uh, hop over, and then try and interpose himself between Krend and the little gob- little fucking creature. And uh, uh, he's going to cast... Uh, yeah, he's going to do a uh, booming blade again uh, on his rapier attack. So he's going to try and uh, stab him up good. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm hoping that hits. Um, and in case he moves, uh, for whatever reason... He, ca- he takes two thunder damage. Well, it's not going to matter because he's already dead. Aha! <laughs> Meryl wasn't expecting him to actually die, so he just like sta- stabbed him, like, haha! And then, like, the guy just, oh, oh, and almost lets go of his right I'm again. so sorry. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> sorry there. Sorry. Uh, that'll be his turn. Cyrus? Um, well, Cyrus looks at this boy over here. And, um. Well, Andy, in case you missed it, uh, don't work down. Oh, I'm dead, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> he's that. going to uh, take out his crossbow and fire his crossbow at him. Does a six hit? <laughs> it does not. I'm going to clock off in about 10 minutes. Oh, actually, hang on, you've got, uh, bear with. He's restrained. He's restrained. Oh, I need to consult the Oracle. Um, yes, you have advantage. That does an 18 hit. hit. 18 does hit. Excellent. Um, that, there is no more to be said. He is dead. Excellent. I did it. Alright, great success, boys. <laughs> Is it, though? Um, does anybody <laughs> have any healing? I, I hey, touch Max Krend. Or, uh, yes. oh, and, and return God. him three hit points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right. when, when Krend is healed, he's going to get up, he's going to grab Cyrus and say, I thought you were a cleric. I am a cleric. I just, I just. Uh, oh wait, no. I I missed that day. <laughs> <laughs> I am a cleric. I just they they never taught me any of the healing spells. What kind of a oh for God! Just gonna drop him and go shake Axel's hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna draw a line under that. There, I think. It's a fine place to end that. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, I got paralyzed. I forgot I have this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck's sake, Brian. <laughs> You're a terrible cleric. You are in my, the worst cleric. In my defense, right? In my defense, I do have a specific resource in <laughs> that that is important. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, oh God! Recess to track. I am. I love how the, the our designated party healer is the rogue. <laughs> but that's the thing. I, I can do three points of healing per long rest. <laughs> <laughs> if no, you really excuse me, I'm just looking up ways for to get healing. Thank you. I could get healing. I just have to level up and learn it. <laughs> yes, Dan, I know you can get healing. You told me you get access to the entire cleric spell list. <laughs> I also I said spells. I did not to take it. <laughs> <laughs> because the only the only healing spell I could have learned would have been mm. Cure Wounds. Oh, that's that, that incredibly famously useless spell. Uh. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. That's exactly what Krend had. Wounds. <laughs> what? You know, realistically, a D8 plus three, is it really that big of a deal? I Honestly, have three hit points. It could be enough. 
Oh, okay. Well, uh, Krend is inevitably going to beat Cyrus to death. But, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't don't worry, Sam. I'm so okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't intentional. <laughs> it was hilarious though. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I I made it very clear that he thinks he's a cleric, but is not. <laughs> but he doesn't know what a cleric is. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh dear. <laughs> so was Cyrus like trying to do something? Did he have his like hands like hovering he's just over casting him the light like, spell? Right? Hey, and then Max hey, or I, him and he's like, I did it. <laughs> I blessed you, right? That was that was Cyrus being a good cleric and blessing you all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. With my attack rolls, I could have done with a fucking blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, Bless is really good when you've got rogues in the party. Because they only get one attack. It's all on that one attack. So Bless is, like, really strong. Mm. There you go. Bless the rogues. Oh, bless the rogues. And me. And, and I will you. continue to use my bonus action to Nene. And <laughs> and when I next level up, I will take Cure Wounds. <laughs> if I survive until that level up, I will thank you. <laughs> If not, I'm bringing back Jug, and he's getting vengeful. <laughs> the, best, the best thing about, as well, which is going to make you even more angry... Yeah, I'm so ready. <laughs> ...is... I'm pretty sure... Let me just double-check this. Oh, no. So... <laughs> if, if there was two of you within touching distance, like a twin spell... Bless, um, cure wounds. No oh, comment. comment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I make unintentionally not great characters. <laughs> Dan, Dan's going out of his way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't, make, I didn't make Zez the easiest to get be around because he just go. I've summoned demons. I don't know how to get rid of them. But <laughs> yeah. See, I intended for Kren to have like a fun backstory, a cool arc possible, but it turns out what I've made is the tragic backstory for all of you guys. <laughs> like Kren gets just beaten to death, and you're all stood there going, oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on it, guys. I'll, I'll work on it, I promise. That's it. My, my healing hands will get better with levels, but not not much more useful, because you'll all have much more hit points to well, get back. Well, to be fair, here's I'll my be healing. When they die, I get back my Warlock level plus Charisma modifier, so I need to use Hexblade's Curse constantly, it turns out. Did you use it at all in that one? I didn't, uh, because I forgot. So... We're both to blame. No, we're not. <laughs> I had an ability and forgot it. You specifically chose not to. <laughs> so, what I'm, so what I'm hearing is you're more culpable for this particular session. Well, no, because that healing wouldn't have helped me. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I'll do my best. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I do like the idea as well that literally up until this moment Cyrus has been like I never understood the point of healing magic really and now he's like oh fuck I get it <laughs> well I mean he lives a show in life no one got hurt <laughs> he's like oh my god I never even thought about that there were loads of other clerics about who, who did all the normal cleric stuff <laughs> he, he I got... thought it was just for skinned knees he got stabbed one day and he's like, oh my god, this really this really hurts. I, I didn't expect this at all. I've been in adventure for two days and someone I'm friends with nearly died. <laughs> is this what people normally do to each other? Oh my god. Like, this isn't this isn't fun. Uh, I do Meryl, like that we did just abandon all the squishy people at the yeah. I stand by it as a decision because we yeah. didn't abandon them. We were literally ten feet you were, from them. You were, yeah, you weren't far away. We were ten feet away. If that is abandoned, then I have abandoned you guys every time I go for a piss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're finally admitting. Right, I mean, I do abandon you. <laughs> that you've been abandoning us bathroom, this yeah. whole time. <laughs> yeah. Meryl is terrified of everything that has happened. <laughs> 
the the monsters, the <laughs> the fighting, the darkness, and then his his new friend nearly dying. Well, I assume you've been trying to spy on what Kren's book is. Would you like to know what it is? I mean, if he's seen it, he wouldn't have like <laughs> stu- He wouldn't like have like. Pick oh yeah, yeah. I, I like the idea. Krend has been reading it constantly, though, and not yeah. trying to hide it. All right, it's a dictionary. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Meryl, like I imagine, like at one point when they like we're on the car and like Krend's mm. reading, and Meryl's like is about to try and like, ooh, this is my chance to strike up conversation. Like goes to look and like is about to talk and like notices the dictionary. He's like, Oh, um, <laughs> uh, and just like sits back. <laughs> is it just a common dictionary, or is it some sort of spooky language? No, it's a common dictionary. I was just looking at Cyrus. He speaks a lot of fucking languages. Yeah, I was just looking at all of the languages that um, Naxal knows as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the idea. It's a. It's a common dictionary that just looks like the kind of thing you find in every library everywhere, you know? Is it oh, Is it just a common dictionary with like an arcane book cover on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a book sleeve on it, yeah. <laughs> Cyrus knows. Abyssal, Celestial, Common, Infernal, Primordial. Jesus. I, I just know Common and Infernal. So. Naxal knows Celestial, Common, Deep Speech, Thieves Gun, Under Common. Yeah, all those useful, nice languages. <laughs> yeah, it's the language of friends. I only know uh, common and undercommon. <laughs> that's, that's common and northern. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's undercommon, so it's northern. It's, um, it's common and also uh, people from Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's accurate. It's Scouse or something. <laughs> Scottish. Yeah. yeah, just common with a slight bastardization. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's common but with a slight tiefling twang. Yeah. I completely forgot how terrifyingly squishy um um <laughs> low level characters are. It's so yeah. squishy, aren't they? <laughs> It's so weird. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got I got scratched by like a little bitch minion. I was like, oh shit, that's half my hit points. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's when you hear like, you know, eleven damage and you're like, yeah, whatever. And you're like, oh god, eleven, oh god. <laughs> oh god, that's everything I have left. <laughs> I got I yes, when I got paralyzed and I lost half my health, I was like, I'm dead. It's <laughs> quite funny. And I like and knowing that I have no healing as well, I was like, Oh shit, I've got nothing to do. Uh, <laughs> by my own card. That's how I felt for nearly the entire Carbon Twenty One Eighty Five campaign. <laughs> yeah. Anytime we're going to come out, I'm like, no, I can't do it. I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. Well, part of the reason why, why <laughs> my thinking as to why I have no healing was, so I was like, well, when I made Splint, I was all of the healing. So I was like, oh fuck it, I'll just, I'll, if I need to, I'll do it later. I'm sure someone else will have healing. <laughs> no, I mean you weren't wrong. Yeah, I was technically correct, which is the best kind of correct. Um, yeah, and Donnie maybe... will get... And Donnie... Ha- oh, wait, no, Donnie has healing. Does Donnie have healing? I'm pretty sure he has Goodberry when we were making... Oh, yeah, death. you're right. He <laughs> does have Goodberry. Yes. Just Tom isn't berries. even here, so Tom doesn't know. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, yeah, hi, Tom. Welcome to the conversation. Away, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you have good berry, right? I don't have good berry. What is your spell list? I have absorb elements, entangle, zephyr strike, and speak with animals. Oh, right, never mind. So no, we maybe, are fully bound. <laughs> may, maybe Donnie can speak to an animal that has healing abilities. <laughs> I have yeah. befriended this badger. He tells me he knows how to heal you. Uh, oh no, he just came here for food. The trouble with Donny, <laughs> he's here. Trouble, you. you have TB now. <laughs> the trouble with Donny is he is he kills the animals before he gets a chance to speak to them. <laughs> <laughs> he only uses it to hear their dying words. 
Yeah. So, so what I'm <laughs> what I'm hearing here, Tom, is you didn't pick Goodberry. You went. <laughs> you literally picked a thing that you're now never going to use because you kill the animals. And I yeah. appreciate that. That is <laughs> that is thematically accurate. Just I just imagine Donnie in like casting the spell just to say, "Hey, animals, it's me, Donnie." <laughs> Totally not going to kill you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on out. It's all safe. <laughs> That's literally how he catches his animals. He's like, yeah. hey, friends, I'm just here giving away food. Don't mind me. Ah, <laughs> crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a raccoon over here. Just minding my own business. <laughs> I just just say hi, I friend. Do. I do like the idea that while you're like hunting this bear as a vendetta, there's also like a, I don't know, yeah, a fucking raccoon that you've got like a, a weird relationship with because you keep shooting him, but he keeps surviving and coming back for more food. <laughs> well, what, is this it's like, like, I'll get you eventually, Jimmy. It's his like Nexus system from Shadow of War. Oh, God. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> Nemesis. <laughs> I like the idea. Jimmy of... the raccoon has been promoted to come on. <laughs> exactly. He's after the bear, and the raccoon's actually after him for what he did to his family. He's trying to hunt me. <laughs> the raccoon downs you and gets promoted. There's an immortal raccoon that's after you, and if it touches you, it dies. Yeah. <laughs> you die even. That's the real oh, reason no. I had to leave, um, leave home. There. <laughs> I like that Sam knew we were a shit show with no healing coming into this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Dan had said to me multiple times when he was creating his character that he didn't have any healing. And I'll be brutally honest with you, I did not believe him. <laughs> <laughs> did you not? No. Oh, that was on you. That's I, you. I was like, That's yeah, he's playing, a, he's playing a, you know, divine Between... soul sorcerer. He's got like healing word. It, it just means he doesn't have any serious healing. The warlock, healing. the wizard, and the divine soul sorcerer. <laughs> it was the rogue who healed me. Hello, I'm a weird rogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But I'm going to have to have a sleep before we do that again. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the idea. Long rest. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a long rest. Craig's oh, exhausted God. like from being killed and then coming back. <laughs> and then Richard's character is just sitting there. like He's just like, oh, well, I am beat. Like, <laughs> I am beat. All I had to do was touch you. <laughs> and Axel's See, just sitting there, sweat on his brow. As as a as a warlock as well, it's like you're just there like, oh my god, I need a four good eight hours of sleep. I'm a warlock, so it's like if I get like an hour of rest, I'm fucking good to go. Mm. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, right. good, good night. See you later. Good night. See you later.